Hey Vinyl community, hey New Wavers, it's Shad with Vinyl New Wave. How are you doing? Uh, coming to you today with another kind of uh, finds video from December through February. Um, my last video I had showed a whole bunch of the Barnes & Noble stuff. Today is a little bit of everything else. So, let's get started. First off, two... Um, Two soundtrack re-releases that um, I was really excited to see about. It was like somebody was listening in on my conversations at one point last year and then decided to release these uh, two soundtracks. So uh, when I saw that they were going to get released, I had immediately had some FOMO, hashtag FOMO, and ordered them, pre-ordered them both. Um, the first one is Until the End of the World, uh, the original motion picture soundtrack from a film by Wim Wenders. Um, this is a really amazing soundtrack. It has Depeche Mode, Elvis Costello, R.E.M., Talking Heads, Lou Reed, uh, Daniel Lanois, um, Nick Cave and the Bad Seeds, uh, Nana Cherry, and, uh, and U2's... Um, uh, until the end of the world. It's a great, great album. I've had this on CD forever. This was actually never available on vinyl in the U S or if it was, it was in a, it wasn't the full soundtrack. It was just like selections from, um, really great album. I was really excited to see it, um, or hurried and pre-ordered it when they announced it. Cause they said it was only going to be like 1500 copies or something. And then guess what? They did another pressing for Barnes & Noble on colored vinyl, so on yellow vinyl. So it's not as limited as I originally had thought, um, but great, great soundtrack. If you like any of these bands, uh, definitely worth picking up. A lot of these, a lot of these songs are only available on this uh, on this soundtrack, including the Depeche Mode one and um, the REM one. I think, and sax and violins with the talking heads. I mean, just get this album. Um, next one up is also a soundtrack that um, really, really cool um, from the early 90s. And that is Songs from the Cool World, the Cool World soundtrack. This is actually the first time it's been available on vinyl in the U.S. It was available in Europe, um, but those copies go for astronomical amounts. So I was really excited to see. And they did it in this really cool um, flesh-colored vinyl. It kind of looks white. I'm sure it probably looks white in this. Um, but then on the, the D side or side four, it has an etching. I don't know if you can make that out. I'm trying to make it shine so that you can see it, but it is an etching of Hollywood and cool world there. Um, to be honest, I don't think I've ever watched this movie. I own it, but I don't think I've ever watched it. Uh, but the soundtrack is pretty damn amazing. Uh, David Bowie sings the, the title track, Real Cool World. Uh, you've got a Thompson Twins, uh, Electronic, more to come on them later, um, Ministry, New World Order. Um, my favorite song by The Cult is called The Witch, and it is on this soundtrack. Uh, my Life with the Thrill Kill Cult, Sex on Wheels. Moby um, has a couple songs on here. Um, Brian Eno. Um, yeah, I mean, just this whole album is just great. So I was really excited. I mean, it was one of those things where I had been reading or listening, watching videos of people saying, oh, this this is something that they should reissue. And I literally like said, oh, they should reissue the, the Cool World soundtrack. And then lo and behold, they did. Also had a serious case of FOMO when I saw this coming out. And so I pre-ordered it as well. And it came in in January, I think is when it got released. Um... This one is still available, I think, on um, Amazon. Um, 
it's not super duper rare, but uh, great soundtrack if you are into it, um, into any of those bands. Um, if you're a David Bowie collector or anything like that, definitely get it. Uh, I can't remember how many how many copies that they were going to make of this, but it wasn't a ton. Um, next up was a Christmas present to me from my daughter. Um, my daughter, Rebecca, um, got me the uh, 2019 mix of Space Oddity from David Bowie. She kind of just went out on the limb and decided that she was going to buy me a David Bowie record, didn't know what to, which one to get, and was at at uh, the record store and saw this one and decided she should get it, and she picked wisely because this was on my want list. I really wanted this. So thank you, Rebecca, uh, for picking me up Space Oddity. This is a great album and a great pressing and a great remaster. It's really good. Um, now, speaking of more FOMO, let me take a sip. Um, speaking of FOMO, this is a record that I also saw that was going to be released. Um, it got released a few weeks ago, and I had another case of serious FOMO. That is the debut album by the band Electronic. Uh, for those of you that do not know, um, Bernard Sumner of New Order and Johnny Marr of the Smiths. This is a little band that they put together. Uh, and um, they also, um, Neil Tennant from the Pet Shop Boys also makes some appearances on here with some vocals, um, as well as um, Chris Lowe from the Pet Shop Boys does, does some keyboards work. Uh, just really an amazing, amazing um, album. And um, so I wanted it. They put out, um, they did a limited pressing on white vinyl of like a thousand copies. So I ordered the white copy, which I think you can only, you could only order direct from Rhino Records. So I did that. Um, it is also available, this new reissue on black vinyl, which is I think more widely, widely available. Um, on a side note, the Pet Shop Boys and New Order this last week announced a co-headlining tour through the United States. Uh, well, like 11 dates along the East Coast and then the West Coast. Um, maybe we'll get some uh, electronic songs in a crossover. That would be really cool. I don't know if I'm going to be able to make it to any of the dates. They're all... Uh, the closest one for me would either be Los Angeles, San Francisco, or um, the Gorge Amphitheater up in Washington, which is kind of halfway between Seattle and um, that other place. But um, but it actually it falls on the timing of it is really bad. So I don't know, I don't know if I'm going to make it, which is really sad because that is a double bill that I would love to see. Um, okay, up next is a uh, quartet of records that I bought from an online ad, a, you know, a classified ad here in Salt Lake. Every once in a while I troll them and see something interesting. I'll contact people if their prices are reasonable. And this, this guy was asking like, I don't know, 15, 20 bucks for all four of these. I thought that was reasonable. So this is the 12 inch single for Lies from the Thompson Twins. Um, bigger and Better Lies, Beach Culture, and then a Lies dub. Uh, still in the shrink wrap. Um, used, of course, but still in the shrink wrap. Um, so that was pretty cool. I didn't have that one. Um, next up is Special Beat Service from the English Beat. Um, I did not have this album, which is kind of surprising um dave wakelin and 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 the crew doing uh songs like i confess and save it for later those are i think the two big ones on this album 
Um, but yeah, great album. Excited to have that one. Um, next up is UB40's Little, Little Bagar Rhythm. I think that's how it's said. Um, it's a, an EP. It's got uh, their cover of I Got You Babe from Sonny and Cher. Uh, Don't Break My Heart. Um, and a dub version of I Got You Babe and a couple other songs. Um, I like UB40. Who doesn't like a little reggae every now and then? So uh, I'm just happy to pick that one up. And then the final one from that little haul was a, uh, a copy of um, Haircut 100's Pelican West. Um, I actually already own this album. Um, I kind of was more after the other three, but this one actually is still in the shrink. At least the cover is still in better shape than the one that I have. I don't know about the vinyl yet. I haven't had a time chance to, conf to compare them, but uh, based on whichever one is better, mine or this one, I will keep and then I will put that one in the two uh, giveaway pile. Uh, next up, a local record store. Um, I follow all the local record stores on, on the social medias, and uh, this one had posted a picture of this on their, on their in Facebook account saying, hey, this is a recent trade. And it was one that I wanted to have. And so I went in there like a week later and they still had it. And that is uh, the Ocean Blues Beneath the Rhythm and Sound. Um, now I'm going to, this is a, this is actually a reissue because I don't think it was originally ever on vinyl. Uh, this is a reissue from 2015, I think it is. Um, but these Ocean Blue records are go for kind of a ridiculous amount of money. Um, I got this one for 20 something. Um, but, you know, like Discogs, they're going for double that. So I was happy to pick that one up. I'm actually going to do another video on the Ocean Blue. Maybe, maybe, I don't know when. But I saw them uh, live back in December. So, um, and also picked up some other records for them. So I'll, I'll show more to Ocean Blue soon. Um, at that same trip to that record store, I also picked up this 12-inch single for Everything But The Girls. Uh, wrong, I believe it is. You know, Walking Wounded. It's off of the Wrong, uh, the same album as Wrong. But um, yeah, Everything But The Girl, a bunch of remixes. It's a two 12-inch single set. Um, okay, I always got to pick up something from every, Everything But The Girl. Um, and then finally... Uh, my first album from The Jam. I don't have, I just have, up to this point, I've never bought anything from The Jam. So uh, I got this one. Uh, Sound Effects is a great album. I've, I've heard it before, but I just never owned it. Um, but yeah, I mean, it was, and this is a, a like a, a reissue from the last 10 years or so. It's a reissue, but still. Cool. The jam. Five minutes later. All right. Sorry. The interruption there. Uh, the pizza guy showed up. Uh, with our second order of pizzas. Because they messed up the first one. Uh, these last three are from... Um, my other record store uh, that I normally go to, um, mo you know, that I go to most of the time because it's like five minutes from my work. Um, first one is London Zero Hole Four from the House Martins. One of my favorite, um, one of my favorite bands. I have the original, their other other album, uh, but I just never had this one um, outside of being on CD, of course. And so I was really happy to find that one. It immediately picked it up as soon as I saw it. And um, met a guy just last week who saw these guys live back in the 80s with like 150 other people in a church. I was like jealous. Anyways. Um, also from that store, Orchestral Maneuvers in the Dark. Uh, the Pacific Age album, which is a really great album, has uh, Forever Live and Die, 
Uh, we Love You. Some great albums on that one. So, or some great songs on that album. Great, great album. And then this last one. Um, this one was a bit of a blind buy for me. I, I will admit, I don't do a whole lot of blind buys. They just, I, man, I get bit a lot. So, I end up just kind of hating it. But this one had been there. Um, it had been in that recent trades section for over a month. And every time I'd go in, it'd still be sitting there. And it still kind of called me. And for some reason, it was just kind of the cover. The cover kind of called to me. Let me see that. It's uh, a band called The Hoovers. The album is called Skin and Blisters. And... Um, and on the tag, the price tag on the, the store had put on there, it said Ska Punk. I thought, well, I'll give it a shot. Why not? Uh, it wasn't, I think it was like five or six bucks. So I'm like, sure, I'll give it a try. Um, and so I also, I got at home. I got this one just like two weeks ago. And I got at home and I listened to it and I actually really dig it. It's really, it's definitely Ska. Um with a little bit of punk and other mixed into it. Um, but they've got, um, they actually have a cover of Sonny and Cher's I Got You, a ska cover of, of I Got You, which is actually really good. So um, this is, like I said, this is called The Hoover's uh, Skin and Blisters. Um, pretty good album. I'm glad I picked it up because like I said, normally with uh, blind buys, I get bitten. Um, so that pretty much takes us through all of the purchases over the last three months between this video and the last video. I've got a couple other things that I've bought that I'm holding off for other videos, but, um, yeah, that's everything. I, even though I've been busy, I still buy the records, which is kind of crazy. Um, but, uh, Hey, thanks for watching. I hope you liked it. Hope you liked, uh, some of these records. If you did, please like and if you're not already, please subscribe. And uh, until next time, remember, you spin me around like a record, baby.